All right, so we're going to try to render this thing and also put in a label. And so here is my perspective, right? So we have our Power 8 bottle. In the project directory, I downloaded a Power 8 label, and I believe I left a link on your folder, so have a look at it. What I did was I went into the front view, and I cut this bottle using this square, or slice, a uh, spliced, split, sorry, split, so that this is separate from, from that and that, right? So this is where I'm going to put the label. <clears throat> so I select that. I go to the label, and then I'm going to, or decal, and I come down here, and then I have a Power 8 decal here that I downloaded. Open it, and we're going to do a cylindrical because it's, it's not a cylinder. When you click that, it's asking us what is the base of the cylinder. So I'm going to go to the top view and say my base is from here to the outside. And then now it's asking me what's the end of the cylinder. So you want to go to the front view. <clears throat> and kind of shift it up here because we're going to move it down later and I'll just say it's like that tall and then it's going to start from zero so I want to go full around so I'm just going to go enter enter and then I have my label but obviously the label is way up here so now I'm still selected it has a label I just click on this widget then I can click on that and start sliding it down and there is my power aid label now I made that cylinder a little bit too tall so I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna get out of it and it kept on snapping to this uh, I actually want to make my cylinder this tall right so I think what I'm gonna do is dimension this guy so it's 1.84 I'm going to draw another line here Offset, and you know the more. Oh, that's cool. It remembers my last dimension, and I'm going to trim. So this is the same height as that, right? And the more kind of geometrically accurate you can be, I think Rhino's going to have an easier time. So let's add a label to that material again, or a decal. All right, we're going to go cylindrical the top view. Obviously I'm snapping to the top of the <clears throat> bottle cap. Oop. Ah. No good. Do it again. Cylindrical. I'm going to go here. Click on that. Click on that. I'm here. And click on that. So I'm done. Click the little decal widget. So that's the same height as that, which is perfect. So that's the height of my label. Bam. Here we go. And the render looks amazing. That's pretty damn cool. So I just kind of figured this out for you guys too. And I'm, I'm super amazed at Rhino and his ability to texture map. But that is really crazy super super crazy um, super happy and impressed with that um, oops. I'm just basically rotating the whole thing to turn the label around but yeah that's pretty insane so let's have a little bit more fun and go to the bottle here so I can blow that up and just select just the the cap and so separate that material, take in another plastic. This time it'll be black, or at least 90% black. My Powerade bottle. Now the little ridges and stuff, you know what? Let's try it. I think um, we're gonna let the computer do most of the work, so it just takes us a little bit of our time. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on history and do a center from here so I have a little kind of a I'll stick it out Oops. I 
I guess it's super thin. I'm gonna give it some thickness here. What's going on? I think I went backwards. So let's go back from center again so that it would just get wider. And I want to be careful not to go too tall on this side because it starts to loop away from us. So anyway, I'm going to bring it back down. But the height, right now I'm going to go 0.25 and bring it down actually so that I don't pass that line. Clearly that's too big, but that's okay. I'm going to jam it in there. And then I'm going to Boolean this object together, Boolean Union. That's there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to use history. I don't use history much. It's kind of new to Rhino 5 and I actually don't use it, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to array this thing around the cap. So I kind of have it kind of bulged out the amount that I want. I'm going to go to this top view and then I'm going to go to array polar. And then my center line is going to be again here. And that's why it's really important to start. Number of items, I don't know. Let's go 31. And it's going to start at 360. Yeah, that's good to me. I'll accept it. So actually, that looks pretty darn good. Um, and I don't know why record history keeps on going off. But I was hoping to record that so that if I change one, then it'll change all the others. So here, let me go back again. I'm going to go record history. Make sure. Array polar. Polar axis here. So does that mean that if I change this? Yeah, so you see how everything changes? Because it remembers that kind of command. So I'm going to record history again. I don't know if it's going to remember the boolean, but let's see. Hopefully it's smart. Okay, so it broke the, broke the uh, history. So oh, that was kind of lame didn't quite work so I'm just gonna bully on it now never mind from this guy to that guy okay um, what do I do here cuz I want to try to let's go do this let's explode it um, Turn it off for a sec. Ooh. I got all kinds of problems here. I'm going to undo. Oop. I got the Boolean also. Okay, cool. I think because this is a solid right now, and I kind of want to make it a solid, because later I want to blend this t together. So I think the best thing to do is not to do a Boolean, but let's do a... Boolean split. No, actually, I'm going to do a trim. So I'm going to trim with my cap that guy. Okay. Oops. Trim. Oops. Trim my that guy. Perfect. So then this guy should still be a solid. It is not, but that's easy to do. I'm just going to do a sweep. Actually, I'm going to go do edge first. This is actually becoming a pretty decent demo here because there's a lot of failure and you guys can learn a lot. Oh, wait. I needed to. 
I'm going to do sweep two just in case. I'm going to just kind of use these two rails and that curve. And okay. And join all of those together. That's fine. History's getting broken all over. Um, even if I needed to do that. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do what I want to do, which is kind of fill it this only once and then have it array everywhere. But I don't think that's going to happen. I, I can't can't think tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and bully on them together. So I get an edge and then I'm going to go to my blend edge like that. Click that. Ever so slight. I'm holding down um, Alt so that it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, oops! Shoot. My chain edges. Okay, maybe it's not the best demo. All right to do is figure out the, the kind of the blending distance which is a really small I'm gonna hold down alt so it doesn't snap to anything and again hold down alt so I want to blend it like here maybe maybe halfway so that's like 0.08 so I'm gonna to go to set all 0 0.008 and 0 0.008 and then there it is. There's a little rib there. That could do another line. What other do I have? Oh, and surface? No, that's not what I want. And probably these guys too, really. And I think 0.08 is going to be too big because I only have this much left. So I'm just going to go set all. 0.04 and hopefully it doesn't fail on me. There it is. So I got a little rib thing going there and I think I'm just going to fake it at this point and see I'm going to explode it probably because it's a perfect sphere I can probably just rotate it and, and fake it. So let me find that. Go to the top and if, of course, if you're going to 3D print this, this is not, you can't fake it. You got to do all of it perfectly. Array polar. Center's going to be here. 31 items. Perfect. There we go. There it is. You got all your. Highlights, got your little blend, got your little nubs, got your label. Guys, this is pretty awesome. I'm quite happy with the uh, results, and hopefully you guys can achieve similar results, and we'll see you guys next time.